So you want to download mods. You want to be able to add stuff to your game that previously did not exist. Well, congratulations, you've come to the right place. This is going to be a very quick tutorial, like one minute. So in one minute, you'll have mods installed onto your PC. Also, before I go on, please be sure to subscribe. I'm not doing this for free. Thank you. Step one is to open a fresh Google tab. Step two is to make sure you have Java Oracle installed. You cannot download mods without Java. So the first thing you should search is Java. The site you're looking for is HTTPS colon backslash backslash www.java.com also known as Java Oracle. I'll also have a link to the website in the description. Click on that. You will be presented with a page like this. Don't click anything on this page except for the button that says Java download. Once you select that, it'll bring you to a page like this. Ignore everything on the page except for the button called agree and start free download. Click on that button. It'll download down here in the bottom left corner of your screen. All you have to do is click on it. Select the yes button and after you do that, a window like this will pop up. Select install next or OK until it's done downloading. I'm not going to do this because I already have Java installed. Once you do have Java installed, step three is to open another Google tab. Search curse. Forge. If you don't know what CurseForge is, it's a very popular website that people all around the world use for downloading mods. The one you're looking for is https colon backslash backslash www.curseforge.com, also known as CurseForge. Click on that. You'll be presented with a page like this. Select Minecraft. Then you'll be presented with a page like this. Go up to the top and select mods. Then it will bring you to a page like this. There'll be a long column of different mods, followed along with 1,392 pages of mods for you to browse. If you don't want to browse mods, there's also a search option. Just for today, I'll get an example mod to use. Let's try a gun mod. Let's see what comes up. Tech Guns is a good gun mod. Once you find the mod that you want to download, click on it. You'll be presented with a page like this. Go up to the top and select Files. In Files, you have a list of different installation versions for your mod. Find the version of Minecraft that you want to run the mod on. If you cannot find your version of Minecraft, that means the mod you're trying to run is not supported for that version. I will be using 1.12.2. Once you find the version you want to download, click on the orange download arrow right here. You'll be presented with a page like this. Don't click anything on the page. Just let it finish counting down and then your download will come down here at the bottom left corner of your screen. Select keep. Step four is to open another fresh Google tab. Minecraft Forge. The one you're looking for is https colon backslash backslash files dot minecraft forge dot net also known as download for minecraft forge for minecraft and then the latest version of minecraft. Click on that. You'll be presented with a page like this. In the left corner you'll find minecraft versions and a long list of different versions of minecraft. Locate the version of minecraft the mod you're trying to run is supported for. Today I'm doing 1.12.2 so I will select 1.12.2. Click on the version of minecraft you're going to use. Make sure at the top it's says the correct version of Minecraft you're trying to install. I would recommend installing the recommended version, but you can also do the latest. The recommended version is less prone to bugs. Select installer. Once you do that, do not click anything on the screen. Ignore everything you see and go and hit the skip button in the top right corner. Once you hit the skip button, you'll see that Minecraft Forge is downloading in the bottom left corner of your screen. Select keep and then click on the jar. Something like this will pop up. Make sure you have install client checked. You don't need to worry about anything else, just hit the OK button. It'll tell you that it has successfully installed client profile forge for the version of Minecraft you tried to download it for into your launcher. Select OK, close the tab, find your Minecraft launcher. You have to close it and reopen it to update the files. Once you've done that, go up to the top of your launcher and select installations. Make sure you have modded checked up here in the versions. Select new installation. Underneath where it says version, click on the drop down menu and scroll through all the different versions of Minecraft until you find a version named Forge and then the version of Minecraft that you downloaded it for. There it is. I found it. Release 1.12.2 for Forge. Select that and make sure it's selected. Name your installation so that you can find it again. Forge for 1.12.2. Go down to the bottom right hand corner and select create. Once you've done that, it'll bring you back to the installations tab. Scroll down through your installations tab until you find the installation you just created. And here we go. I found the installation I just created, Forge for 1.12.2. And you can see right below it, it says 1.12.2 Forge. Go over to the right and select play. I understand and play. Minecraft will begin to boot up, but you'll notice some differences, thus being all of the different loading bars. Once 
once Minecraft Forge has loaded, go up to the top and close Minecraft. Now what you just did was generate all of the Forge files inside the .minecraft folder. The next thing you need to do is locate your downloads folder. To do this, open your file explorer. You can open your file explorer by either going down to the Windows button and selecting documents or clicking on the little file in your taskbar. Once in your file explorer, go to the left and locate this PC. Select the drop down menu and find downloads. Click on that and you'll be presented with all of your downloads. The most recent ones being near the top. Find the mod you just downloaded. There it is. Tech guns for 1.12.2. Left click it and then right click it to bring up the drop down menu and select copy. Go up to the top of your file explorer. Type percent app data percent and then hit enter. You'll see a bunch of folders here. Select the one called dot Minecraft. Once you select that, you'll see all of the files responsible for running Minecraft. Scroll down until you find the folder called mods. If you do not have a folder called mods or cannot find one, then just simply make a folder in this folder called mods. Do not use any capitals. Name it exactly the way it looks here. Open that mods folder and then right click inside of it and select paste. Make sure your mod is pasted inside the folder called mods in inside your .minecraft folder. Once you've done this, close out of your file explorer, go to either installations or play, and find the Forge version of Minecraft you just downloaded. Make sure it's selected and hit the play button. Minecraft will begin to boot up, and as you can see, if I go into my creative inventory, there is an extra tab for guns, and you can see all of the new modded materials. Just to prove this works, I'll shoot some of the guns. Let's go with the Grim Reaper and the Rocket Launcher. There they are, and they seem to be working working just fine. Let's try the Grim Reaper. And there you go, mods in Minecraft. Also, I make other stuff besides tutorials and informational stuff. I make uh, content that is entertaining as well. So please do go check that out and subscribe. Have a good rest of your day.